Hey beautiful people, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> I never say y'all, but you know, fall, y'all. Happy fall, y'all. That just seems like that's just like a stereotypical Instagram caption for fall. If you do use that for your fall caption, hey, I love that. <laughs> but <laughs> I just hear that a lot. So I thought I would make that the intro to this, just to spice it up. Pumpkin spice, <laughs> so festive. Anyway, I know I started my fall series on my channel a little bit early, but this week is actually the first week of fall, I believe. <laughs> I'll put the date right down here of whenever the first day of fall is, so happy fall. <laughs> so to kick off the start of legit fall, I thought I would do the fall tag, so let's go ahead and begin. The very first question is, what is your favorite scent during fall? Anything pumpkin? So you best believe I stock up on any scents during the fall. I mean, if you watch my perfume video, you know I love like sweet and girly and candy scents, but fall pumpkin scents have just a big old chunk of my heart. <laughs> I can't really think of like a specific name. Like maybe it's a room scent or perfume. I'm a robot. <laughs> Maybe a wax melt. If it's pumpkin, I will love it. <laughs> Number two is favorite drink. This one might surprise you. You probably think I'm gonna say, oh, pumpkin spice latte. No, <laughs> my favorite drink is from Taco Bell. So random, right? I really hope they bring this back because I will be very devastated if they don't. But I love icy drinks, so like slushies, frosties, snow cones, anything like that. I am obsessed with. So my favorite fall drink is the, it's a caramel apple freeze from Taco Bell. First of all, Caramel apple is like my favorite flavor. Cause since I don't like pumpkin, I do caramel apple. So what it is, it's like an apple freeze and then it has drizzled caramel in it. So it's kind of like a Starbucks. <laughs> it's got the drizzle of caramel, except it's a slushy. Cause I hate coffee, disgusting. <laughs> we all know I absolutely hate coffee. We'll never like it. I've tried it multiple times. So, you know, Pumpkin drinks aren't my thing. <laughs> I really hope they bring this back. So Taco Bell, you better bring it back or else I'm gonna be very sad. I had probably way too many of those last year, but so good. And I'm one of those types of people that can have like cold drinks year round. So it may be like negative 32 outside and I will have ice cream. <laughs> so weird the next question is do you prefer a haunted house haunted hayride or haunted corn maze haunted house no haunted hayride no haunted corn maze no harry does not like anything scary absolutely not mm -mm. you will never find me in a haunted house like you will have to like drag me to a haunted house never gonna happen um, I don't like scary stuff. Mm -mm. Next question is, what is the temp like during fall where you live? <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> like right now, I think it's like 80s or 90s. Gross. Like I wanna snuggle up in a scarf, put on some boots and wear tall socks and be cozy. Granted, I am in a long sleeve shirt, but I thought, you know, if I would do a fall video in a t-shirt, that just kind of like, is, <laughs> it just looks like, it just doesn't go together. So, you know, all these fall videos, I'm gonna be wearing a long sleeve, but just know, still hot here. <laughs> I kind of, I feel like I jinxed it at the beginning of summer i was like oh my gosh it's not getting warm this is weird and then once it finally got warm it was too warm so you know i guess i got what i wished for <laughs> but it's too hot 80s 90s during fall um it doesn't really start getting cold here i would say till october maybe sometimes like i know sometimes during halloween it would be so cold but then sometimes during halloween it'll be like 75. <laughs> it's strange here very strange next halloween or thanksgiving 
Hmm. Uh, Halloween is like candy, and then Thanksgiving is like food. <laughs> Here's my thing. I don't really like candy. Like, I could do without chocolate. I'm just not, I'm just not a fan. It's okay. Like, I mean, it's good, but it's not like, ugh, I need it. I want it. Most of the candy I got whenever I was little, I would just give it away <laughs> because I wasn't a big candy person. But I do love Halloween because of the decorations. There's so many cute decorations. And then just seeing like kids in costumes is adorable. Halloween is just so fun because you can dress up and transform it yourself into something else and it's just cool. <laughs> I like that. And then all the pumpkins everywhere is so cute. <gasps> I got me some scarecrows. I was so happy. They're like little mini scarecrows. So cute. But then Thanksgiving, you have so much food. We stay in food. <laughs> but the thing is though, I don't really like turkey. <laughs> but we usually have ham and turkey. So I like the ham. But it's different because I don't really like turkey, but I... I love it on Thanksgiving. I think it's just because it's kind of like a traditional thing. I don't know. <laughs> um, but let's see. Yeah, I pick Halloween because I just like the decorations and just seeing kids' faces just light up when it's Halloween and it's just so fun. And then too, like the videos that I'm planning on doing, I'm so excited for. I've never done Halloween themed videos. So those are coming, stay tuned. I'm super excited. Creative juices are just flowing all up in my brain. <laughs> so I'm really excited. So Halloween. Okay, apple pie or pumpkin pie? <laughs> so I actually don't like apple pie. I don't like pie, period. I was gonna say I don't like apple pie, but no, I just don't like pie, period. But it's strange because I absolutely love apples, but I just don't like them cooked. It's just weird texture and then pumpkin pie is so pretty looking but eat it mm -mm. i don't like candy corn either really the halloween food i just don't like but i like the seasonal part of it <laughs> this question is kind of similar to one of the last ones but it says halloween party or explore haunted places definitely a halloween party it would be so much fun dressing up and going to a party like that i mean i'm not a party person a halloween party just sounds so fun just an excuse to dress up and then go somewhere <laughs> in a costume you guys know what you're gonna be for halloween i think i got it figured out which i'll make a video about it hopefully it turns out Let's see, a store-bought pumpkin or a pumpkin patch? I've actually never been to a pumpkin patch. I would really like to, but I always just buy my pumpkins at the store. I love pumpkin decorating. I love carving pumpkins, and I like getting the guts out. <laughs> Is that shocking to you? It's my favorite part, just getting those guts out of the pumpkin. I've always loved that. <laughs> And then carving it is fun. And then I also love painting pumpkins. It's just a fun thing to do. I'm super excited to get a pumpkin. I'll get a pumpkin probably in a few weeks. I like getting the baby pumpkins instead of the big gigantic pumpkins. Um, they're just more easier when I paint on them. And two, they're cheaper. So if it goes wrong or my design doesn't turn out, then I don't feel bad. So, yup. Favorite candy to eat on Halloween. So like I said, I'm not really a big candy person, but I will say that I love Tootsie Rolls and Tootsie Pops. Those are my faves. <laughs> I mean, I like other stuff. Like I like, if I had to pick my favorite candy bar, it would be a Kit Kat. I'm super picky when it comes to candy. I'm not really a big candy person. My favorite thing is that Halloween, whenever they would give out money, <laughs> or I don't know, I liked when they gave out like little like, figures or just cool things but yeah one year i full on got money let me tell you about this so there was this house and it was giving away money and it was just it was coins it wasn't like cash it was a bunch of coins and you got to take two handfuls so you put your hands in there and however much you scooped up that's how much you get but i literally have baby hands so that didn't work out very well but hey you know a coin's a coin. And get your coin. Hey, it was nice. Um, it was different. It was unique. <laughs> for sure. Um, that only happened like one time though. I went there then the next year and they didn't do it. Next is wool socks or slippers. Ugh, this is a hard one. My, I think I'm going to go with, mm, mm, this is, I wear both. 
I absolutely love my fuzzy socks. My favorite thing in the world is to wear leggings and fuzzy socks, but I also love slipper boots. I need to show these in a video sometime, but I absolutely adore slipper boots. I have so many. I don't really like regular slippers, but slipper boots. Those are so nice and warm on your feet. If you've never tried slipper boots, you're missing out. <laughs> you need to go get you some. I may have worn them out a few times. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> and then the very last question that we are going to end on is sweaters or scarves? 100% scarves. I get hot really easily. So a sweater is just not my thing. I mean, I like sweaters or whatever. I'm getting more used to it. Like I'm trying, you know, cause sweaters are so cute, but scarves, oh my gosh. I have so many scarves. I love collecting scarves. And to me, it's just a really nice put together outfit. Like you can dress it up or you can dress it down. I think that is just a very appropriate fall outfit and is definitely an outfit that I would try to change up a lot put your hair up in a bun and have your scarf and it can be really comfortable. Put it with some leggings and then some Ugg boots or your knockoff Ugg boots, that's what I do. <laughs> or you can dress it up, you know? You could put your hair up, you could curl your hair and then you can wear some heels and there's just so much to do with a scarf. Normally it's getting cold in fall so you can use it to warm up your neck. Endless possibilities with a scarf and there's so many different types. That completes this video. Um, I would love to hear your guys' answers to these questions, so make sure to comment below your answers, um, how you would answer these. Like, do we have the same opinions? Do we not? I would love to know, so leave me a comment down below. If you liked this video, though, please make sure to give me a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you will not miss out whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to follow my other social media links. They are linked down below in the description box, like always. And yeah. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. And until next time, always remember to pray, slay, and conquer the day. Love you.